forest to be inhabited. From a scientific viewpoint, the stripes are merely the result of atmospheric conditions peculiar to the planet. But well, then you're quite convinced, as a scientist, that living intelligence as we know it does not exist on Mars. I'd say the chances against it are a thousand to one. Uh, and yet, how do you account for those gas eruptions occurring on the surface of the planet at regular intervals? Uh, Mr. Phillips, I cannot account for By the way, Professor, for the benefit of our listeners, how far is Mars from Earth? Approximately 40 million miles. Well, that seems a safe enough distance. Uh, just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Someone has just handed Professor Pearson a message. While he reads it, let me remind you, we are speaking to you from the observatory at Princeton, New Jersey, where we are interviewing the world-famous astronomer, Professor Pearson. Uh, one moment, please. Professor Pearson has asked me a message which he has just received. Professor, may I read this to the listening audience? Certainly, Mr. Pearson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I shall read you a wire addressed to Professor Pearson from Dr. Gray of the National History Museum, New York, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seismograph registered shock of almost earthquake intensity occurring within a radius of 20 miles of Princeton. Please investigate. Signed, Lloyd Gray, Chief Astronomical Division. Professor Nielsen, uh, could his parents possibly have something to do with the disturbances observed on the planet Mars? Oh, hardly, Mr. Phillips. Uh, this is probably a meteorite of unusual size, and its arrival at this particular time is merely a coincidence. However, we shall conduct a search as soon as daylight comes. Thank you, Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past 10 minutes, we have been speaking to you from the observatory at Princeton, bringing you a special interview with Professor Pearson, noted astronomer. This is Carl Phillips speaking. We are returning you now to our New York studio. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the latest bulletin from the Intercontinental Radio News, Toronto, Canada. Professor Morse from McGill University reports observing a total of three explosions on the planet Mars between the hours of 7.45 p.m. and 9.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This confirms earlier reports received from American observatories. Now, nearer home comes a special announcement from Trenton, New Jersey. It is reported that at 8.50 p.m., a huge flaming object, believed to be a meteorite, fell on a farm in the neighborhood of Groversville, New Jersey, 22 miles from Trenton. The flash in the sky was visible within a radius of several hundred miles, and the noise of the impact was heard as far north as Elizabeth. We have dispatched a special mobile unit to the scene. We'll have our commentator, Carl Phillips, give you a word description as, as soon as he can reach there from Princeton. In the meantime, we take you to the Hotel Martinet in Brooklyn, where Bobby Milliat and his orchestra are offering a program of dance music. <laughs> 